Hello dear friends, in this uh, video I shall take up a topic which is very important for junior students and obviously at competitive level you know the students will be greatly benefited by this video. A major problem in front of the teachers that is mathematics teachers is to introduce the concept of LCM and HCF to the students. They confine themselves to the methods that is the prime factorization method and the long division method for finding the HCF obviously and uh, we have the relationship between LCM and HCF also and once they confine the students to those methods the students know the methods but they don't know the literal meaning of LCM and HCF whereas if you go by um, the definition approach like if you know what is LCM and what is HCF then the problems that is the higher problems of LCM and HCF become very very easy to handle. Now in this video so I am going to tell you the how to introduce uh, these two concepts to the students when they are taught for the first time. Now see LCM and HCF this contains the word multiples multiple and this contains the word factor. Now first of all the students have to told, be told what do you mean by factors and multiples. Once they are clear about factors and multiples only then the concept of LCM and HCF will be clear to them. Now how do you introduce the concept of multiples and factors? If you want to introduce the concept of multiples then you have to tell them like we have a number 3 and you want to write the multiples of 3. Now multiples of 3 are the numbers which occur in the table of 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and so on these are called the multiples of a number. So this concept should not be told to the students they already know the tables. So you should ask them what are the multiples of a particular number. So, if you practice it for uh, say 5, 6 such numbers then they will know what are multiples. Then come to factors. Now suppose you need the factors of a number say factors of 10. Now you have to ask the students like which numbers are the exact divisors of 10. So they will tell you that one is a divisor of every number so 1 is a factor of every number then 10 comes in the table of 2 also then it comes in the table of 5 and simultaneously it comes in the table of 10 so they will tell you that there are 4 factors of 10 mind you these are factors these are not prime factors that, uh, that's the difference we failed to introduce in the students and uh, that's the um, problem which is created at higher level so factors of 10 are the divisors of 10. So it starts with 1 and ends with the number itself. Likewise you can ask the students what are the factors of 18. Now once you give the examples of 10 then do not tell them all the factors of 18. Let them come out with the factors themselves so that they can be sure that they know the literal meaning of factors. So they will al always start with 1 because you already told them that 1 is a factor of every number. After that it will be 2 because 2 9s are 18, 3 6s are 18. It is not divisible by 4, 5, no, it is divisible by 6, then it is divisible by 9 and then by 18 itself. So let the students understand what do you mean by factors and what do you mean by multiples. Now once you have introduced the meaning of multiples and factors then only you can go for the meaning of LCM and HCF. Now I am taking up what do you mean by LCM. Now for finding the LCM of two numbers you can take any two numbers a simple example first up so that the students can be uh, sure that they know the method now. You can take the LCM of Suppose we have 12 and say we have, okay, I'll take a, a number which is easy to handle, say 20. 12 and 20. 
Now LCM contains the alphabet M, so you have to start from M first. Ask them to write the multiples of 12. So multiples of 12, for 12 the multiples are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72 and so on. These are the multiples of the first number 12. After this, the second number is 20. So, write down the multiples of 20 also. So, now they will tell you 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and so on. Once they are aware of these multiples, then you have to introduce the next term that is C and C stands for common. Now, what do you mean by common? Common means something which exists in both. So, you want to find the common multiples now. So, M is multiples and C means common. So, C M means common multiples. C 12 is not common, 24 is not common, 36 is not common, 48 is not common, 16. Now, this is the first number which is occurring in both the multiples and then tell them then that the meaning of L is least that means the smallest and before 60 there is no other common multiple so the LCM of these two numbers 12 and 20 is actually 60 itself. I'll take one more example to make it more clearer. Say I'll take an easy example first because when you introduce a concept to the students then you have to be uh, you have to be taking very very easy examples so that students can comprehend them very easily. So let's take the LCM of 4 and 6. Now see for 4 the multiples are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36 and so on. And for 6 it is 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48 and so on. Now once they write the multiples, M is done. Now we need to approach C. Common. 4 is not common, 6 is not common, 8 is not common, 12 is common. 16, 18, 20, 24 is common. Okay, 28, 30, 30, 32, 36 is common. Now see these are common multiples. So common multiples of these two numbers are 12, 24, 36 and there will be many more. And now come to the word least. Least means the smallest one. So LCM of 4 and 6 will be the smallest one that is 12. So if you tell students meaning of the word LCM, only then they will be able to understand why the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12 because in the multiples of 4 and 6, there are some common multiples and the smallest one of those common multiples is 12. That is why the LCM of 4 and 6 is 12. Likewise, when you have to introduce the concept of HCF, I told you HCF involves the word factor. Now suppose we need the HCF of 12 and 18 itself. Now you need to write all numbers which divide 12 exactly. So we need to write the factors. So all factors start with 1, then it occurs in 2, 2 stable, then 3, 4 also, then 6 and then 12. And what about 18? It is 1, 2, 3, 6, 9 and 18. So these are the factors. Now for, for the explanation purpose, we write HCF in a separate uh, uh, margin and we tell them that we have written the factors that is we have covered the F part of the explanation. And now come to the C part. C means common. So factors are done and now come to the common. So we need to numbers which are common in the two factors. So all factors of 12, all factors of 18. What are the common factors? It is 1, 2, 3, 6. So these are the common factors. There is nothing else which is common. And then come to the word H that is highest. 
Now, highest of 1, 2, 3. So, these are the common factors. I will write it for you once. Common factors. These are 1, 2, 3 and 6. So, which is the highest common factor? Highest of this is 6. Therefore, the HCF of 12 and 18 is 6. I know you may debate that this method will not be useful for big numbers, large numbers. But I am making this video only for small children and for those who are beginning to learn HCF and LCM to develop a basic understanding of the two concepts so that they can solve all higher problems very easily. So let's take one more example and then we will conclude. Let's write the HCF of say we have 20 and okay uh, let's take a little bit higher number say 32. Now I need to write the factors of 20 so it is 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20 and for 32 it is 1, 2, 4, 8, okay 8 4 are 32 so we have 16 and then 32. So what are the common factors? I will write the HCF directly. So what are the common factors? 1 is common, 2 is common, 4 is common, 5, 8, 10, 16, 20, 32, nothing else is common. So HCF of the 2 is highest that is 4 in their life. So let's take up the first one. Here I have 2 rational numbers in the first bracket and 2 in the second and we have to subtract the results of the 2 from each other. Now here we have numbers 9 and 6. Now, how do we take the LCM of 9 and 6? Now, see 6 and 9, 6 does not divide 9 easily. So we know that. So, take multiples of 9. 9 to the 18. Now, 18 is exactly divisible by 6. So, the LCM of 9 and 6 is 18. Now, this is the first shortcut you need to be aware of for finding the LCM very quickly so that you don't spend much time in that. Now, once you get to the LCM, other things should be very easy because 18 divided by 9 is 2 and 2 into 2 is 4. Similarly, 18 divided by 6 is 3 and 3 into 5 is 15. So likewise, you need to calculate the sum. Similarly, you have to solve the second bracket. Here we have the numbers 3 and 6. How do you find the LCM of 3 and 6? Now, 3 divides 6 exactly. So the LCM of 3 and 6 is 6 itself. So whenever one number is exact divisor of the second number, then the larger number is the LCM. And in the numerator, 6 divided by 3 is 2, 2 into 2 is 4. And here we have the same number, so 7 comes as it is. So we have used two shortcuts of finding the LCM here. One, when the number, smaller number is divis uh, exactly uh, dividing the larger number. And when it is not dividing the larger number, then you have to take the multiples. Now this comes out to be 19 by 18 minus 11 by 6 and now again the second shortcut can be used here see 18 and 6 6 exactly divides 18 so the LCM will be 18 itself and 19 will come as it is because the LCM is equal to this number when it is not equal to uh, the number then you have to divide so 18 divided by 6 is 3 and 3 into 11 is 33 thereby giving you the answer for this question it is minus 14 by 18 or you can bring it to the lowest form by striking off the common factor minus 7 by 9 will be the result of this question. Now let's see how we can apply the same method to get to the answer of this uh, question in uh, one step or one and a half steps only. Now how do you find the LCM of 3, 4, 8 and 12? Now finding the LCM of these four numbers should be very very easy for people who have basic understanding of LCM. Now see 3, 4, 6 and uh, 3, 4, 8 and 12. So I'll write it here separately for your convenience. 3, 4, 8 and 12. Now see 3 is a perfect divisor of 12. So 3 is not to be considered. 4 is a perfect divisor of 12. Not to be considered. But 8 does not divide 12. So what do we do in such cases like we did here? we have to take the multiples. Now 24 the next multiple is 20, uh, 12 the next multiple is 24. Now 24 is exactly divisible by 8 so the LCM of the 4 numbers is 24. So we take the LCM as 24 and now other things should be very simple because this is traditional uh, division what we have been uh, doing uh, traditional uh, addition. 
Now uh, 24 divided by 3 is 8, 8 is 64. 24 divided by 4 is 6, so 6 by the 30. 24 divided by 8 is 3, 3 3 is 9. And 24 divided by 12 is 2, so 14. So uh, now it's only addition and subtraction of integers which will give you the answer. 64, this is 94, 103. So from 103, you subtract 14, you will get your answer. So you, this is 89. So we have 89 by 24 as the answer of this question. So how much time you are going to take to solve this? I think less than say 10 seconds. Okay. Now let's have the final question in the form of a statement here. From the difference of 5 by 8 and 7 by 12. So we have to take the difference of 5 by 8 and 7 by 12. And we have to subtract something from this. The difference of 20 by 3 and 15 by 4. So this is the problem. Now again taking LCM 8 and 12. 8 does not divide 12. So take multiples of 12. 12 to the 24. 24 is divisible by 8. So the LCM is 24. And in the other case 3 and 4. 3 is a prime number. So they are co-prime. So whenever we have co-prime de uh, denominators then we take their product. So 3 into 4 12. So I have the LCM of both the numbers. And now 24 divided by 8 is 3, 3 5 is 15, 24 divided by 12 is 2, so this becomes 14, 12 divided by 3 is 4, so this is 80, and 12 divided by 4 is 3, so 45. So I have the reduced form as 1 by 24 minus, so this is 35 by 12. And again in the next step, now 12 divides uh, 24 exactly, so 24 will be the LCM, so 1 will come as it is and 24 divided by 12 is 2, that makes it 70 and your final answer minus 69 by 24 or you can reduce it to lowest form by striking off the common factor 3, so this will be 23 and this will be 8, so minus 23 by 8 is the required answer of this question. So friends, these are the methods you need to be aware of finding LCM and then how to add and subtract the rational numbers in which such denominators are there. So friends, share it with, with all those students who are beginning to learn LCM and HCF. I am sure they are going to be greatly benefited by these short tricks. So if you like this video, do share it with all the friends who are preparing for competitions as well and do not forget to subscribe the channel.